so excited. Today we're starting a new series called In the Beginning. God's given us a pretty incredible planet to live on, right? Earth? Yeah. And he's filled it with people and animals and adventure and all sorts of cool things. It's so awesome that we get to learn about God's big story in the Bible. Sometimes we think about the Bible as if it's a collection of lots of little bitty stories. But really, every little story in the Bible is actually part of God's big story. The Bible tells us God's big story. And guess what? That's what we get to talk about today. Speaking of stories, one of my favorite ways to hear stories is through movies. But have you guys ever only watched part of a movie? It can be so confusing. You, you don't know who wrote the movie or how it started or how it ends. And oh, it's so frustrating. When we have just one piece of the story, we can't always tell what the bigger story is about, right? And I think it's so cool that we have the Bible, all of it, to tell us God's big story. And obviously, I've said it like 12 times, that's our big idea today. The Bible tells God's big story. All right, you ready to repeat after me? Okay. The Bible tells God's big story. Yay! Okay. The Bible tells God's big story. Yay! All right, pretend I have a hula hoop. I don't have a hula hoop. I looked everywhere for a hula hoop, and I didn't want to go out and go get a hula hoop. So you all know what a hula hoop looks like. So pretend I have a hula hoop right here. So where does it start, and where does it end? Hmm? Well, just like every other circle, this circle, this pretend circle, has no beginning and no end. It just goes around and around and around with no end in sight. And the same is true about God. God is eternal. He has always been, and he always will be. That's hard to understand, isn't it? Yeah, I sometimes, oh, mind blown. So we're part of his big story, which is crazy, and it just goes on and on and on for eternity. All right, so let's talk about beginnings. Beginnings are really important. Before a movie begins, what do we see? Previews! I love that part. And then before we go to, well, when we're at the ball game, say a baseball game, what do we do? Oh, say can you see? Right, d don't listen to my singing. Okay, and sometimes before we start to eat, before we begin to eat, we remember to pray. That's right. So all of those things, like previews before the movie and the national anthem and praying before we eat, they come before the main event right? Okay, so what or who existed before the creation of the world? We're going to read in the Bible, God's big story, do you get it? To find the answer. And we're going to start with just a few verses from John 1. And John 1 is, I mean, well, John chapter 1, the whole book of John is one of my favorite books in the Bible. So are you ready? See, I'm in John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And then we're going to skip down to verse 14. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. I have a few questions for you, and I want to see how good you listened. So, God's story began way before creation, right? And it's going on, it's been going on forever, because he's existed forever. So what, or who, did these verses say was there from the beginning? That's right, the Word. The Bible says the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay, so in this verse, the W in the word, word, so the first letter of the word, word, the W, is capitalized. What do we do with the first letter of people's names? My name's Holly. What do we do with the H? We capitalize it. And here, the capital W in word is because the word word stands for a person named Jesus. 
All of God's big story is about Jesus from before creation until forever. Weird, huh? Okay, so was Jesus a part of creating the world? Yes, these verses tell us that through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. Wow, okay, so if the Bible's one big story, what's it all about? And why are there so many parts to the Bible? There's so many different parts. Let's talk about just the Bible in general. So books have authors, right? I have a book over here that's really fun called Dragons Love Tacos, and it's by Adam Rubin. I don't know if you can see that. Well, anyways, so the Bible has authors too, and there are over 40 people who wrote the Bible. And some of them we know, like, and we've even studied Moses, we've studied David, we've studied Paul, and other authors of the Bible. We don't even know their names, but we know that God inspired all of them. So they wrote exactly what he wanted them to write. So 40 authors, wow, okay, and they all were inspired by God and they wrote just what he wanted them to write. Now, there's 66 different books in the Bible. Do you guys have this little thing in the front of your Bible called the Table of Contents? This is mine, and it has all these names of all these little books. So there's 66 different books in the big book of the Bible. And it's split up into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And the Old Testament comes first, and the New Testament comes second. The New Te Testament tells us what happened after Jesus was born as a baby. And the New Testament starts with his birth. The Old Testament tells us what happened before, and the New Testament is once Jesus was born. But we know from this, from the verses in John, that that Jesus has always been there. Ooh, okay. So, what does all this have to do with us today? The whole Bible is full of a lot of different parts, different books, lots of stories, but they all tell one big story, and that story is about how God created people. Remember Adam and Eve? And then sin entered the world because we made bad choices. And God sent his son to save us from sin and to make our relationship right with him. So God sent his son Jesus to save us from sin. And sin is the bad stuff that we do, the stuff that God doesn't like, and the stuff that makes him sad. And he sent Jesus so that we could have a relationship like we were meant to have with God. So we're so glad that God sent Jesus. Oh, so that's what the whole story is about. Now, I told you guys that I like to hear stories through movies. Miss Emma shared a cool movie with me. It's only three minutes, and it summarizes the big story of the Bible, like the whole Bible. I bet you recognize some of the true stories from the Bible. How many did you get? Whoa, I lost count. So all of these stories tell us one big story about God creating and saving the world. And the Bible, y'all, is one hundred, I said y'all, the Bible, y'all, is 100% true. It's not a fairy tale and it's not made up like a lot of the stories we read, it's true. And we need to remember that the Bible is, is about God, and it's his story. God has a story. God has a big story. And your life has a story, too. Your story is part of God's big story. So we're going to spend some time praying and thanking God for what he's done in our lives, in our story so far, and for also what he's going to do. Let's pray. God, you are a big God, and it is so hard to understand how you were there always from the before the beginning and how you're always going to be here forever and ever. And we just like, I, I can't even explain it. And we're so thankful for that because you're bigger than us. And thank you for making us part of your story um, because you sent Jesus to die for the wrong things that we did. And um, and that we still do, and that now we can just talk to you and have a relationship with you. It's so awesome, and we're so thankful. And I pray that we would make you so happy and that um, we would have a good, good relationship with you. And I love you so much, Jesus. Amen.
Y'all, I miss you, and I can't wait to meet back with you, and I love you. Bye! Bye!